Hi Mariners, this is Mohan Das with Shipboard Fire Safety and Fire Fighting Arrangements as per SOLAS and FSS Code. This is Mariners Digest, December 2023. Number 1. Fire Retardant Bulkhead in order to prevent the propagation of fire from one compartment to another, all watertight bulkheads are also provided with fire-resistant paneling. There are mainly three different types of bulkheads. Class A are constructed to be capable of preventing the passage of smoke and flame to the end of the one hour standard fire test. Class B are constructed so as to be capable of preventing the passage of flame to the end of the first half hour of the standard fire test. Class C divisions are constructed of approved non combustible materials. They need to meet neither requirements relative to the passage of smoke and flame nor limitations relative to the temperature rise. So these are the three different classes of retardant bulkheads. Number two, fire doors. Fire doors are specially designed barriers constructed within a ship structure. They are engineered to withstand high temperatures and prevent the passage of flames and smoke between compartments. During emergencies, fire doors facilitate safe evacuation routes by co compartmentalizing hazards and allowing for controlled movement within the ship. Fire dampers. Fire dampers are an essential part of maritime safety, offering protection to the vessel, its crew, passengers and cargo. Fire dampers are used in air conditioning and ventilation duct work to prevent the spread of fire, smoke and gas inside the duct work. Number four, fire main. The fire main is a system consisting of sea inlets, suction piping, fire pumps, and a distributed piping system supplying fire hydrants, hoses, and nozzles located throughout the vessel. Its purpose is to provide a readily available source of water to any point throughout the vessel which can be used to combat a fire and is considered the backbone of the firefighting systems on board a vessel. Through the fire main system, the firefighter is provided with a reliable and versatile system capable of providing a number of different methods with which to engage a fire. Water can be supplied as a straight stream for combating deep seated fires, as a spray for combating combustible liquid fires where cooling and minimum agitation is desired or as a means to protect personnel where cooling is the primary effect desired. That is firefighters. <clears throat> Number 5. Fire Pumps Marine fire pumps provide the water to extinguish any fire in a ship. These pumps carry sea water or foam to put out the fire quickly before it gets out of hand. 
two independently powered pumps must be provided in all cargo ships of 1000 tons gross and over and in passenger ships of less than 4000 tons gross larger passenger vessels and passenger ferries must have three such pumps the emergency fire pump its sea water inlet and the suction and delivery pipes and the isolating valves must be located outside the machinery space number 6 fire main piping and valves isolating valves for separating the section of the fire line within the machinery space containing the main fire pump or pumps from the rest of the fire main must be fitted these isolating valves must be fitted in a place that is easily accessible and tenable position outside the machinery spaces the fire main shall be so arranged that when the isolating valves are shut all the hydrants on the ship except the ones in the machinery spaces can be supplied with water by another fire pump or an emergency fire pump number 7 fire hose and nozzles three major functions of fire hose nozzles provide stable reaches through specially designed outlets that regulate the water flow project water to the fire spot within range offer stream mode for long distance targets and fog mode for firefighters safety hoses need to be made from tough long lasting materials think about the challenging conditions at sea with all that sea water oil and other corrosive stuff fire hoses need to withstand all of that without falling apart or losing their effectiveness it's essential that these hoses are long enough to reach various parts of the ship fire hoses with a length of at least 10 meters are used in ships the nozzle of diameters 12 mm 16 mm and 19 mm used on the ship or of dual purpose types jet and spray mode number 8 fire hydrants a fire hydrant is a pipe that allows water to flow from a water main with the control of a valve in order to put out a fire they are made up of heat retardant material to get the least effect from the sub zero temperatures and also to ensure that hoses can be easily coupled with them hydrant shall be located 700 to 800 mm higher from the deck number 9 portable fire extinguishers portable fire extinguishers can put out or control a fire until professional help arrives the discharge time on most portable unit is in seconds only so use portable units only on small fires or on fires in their initial stage portable fire extinguishers of water foam co2 dry chemical powder and wet chemical powder are provided in accommodation deck and machinery spaces carried along with a number of spares as given by the regulation number 10 fixer fire extinguishing system fixer fire fighting equipment is strategically installed in various areas of a ship to swiftly combat fires these systems are designed to work in conjunction 
with portable fire extinguishers and the vessel's overall fire safety plan. Sprinkler system, water mist, CO2, foam, DCP, inert gas system are used as a fixed systems and remotely controlled from outside the space to be protected. Number 11. Inert gas system. The IG system is to protect cargo space from any fire hazards. SOLAS requires that IG systems be capable of delivering IG with an oxygen content of the IG main not more than 5% by volume at any required rate of flow and of maintaining a positive pressure in the cargo tanks all the times with an atmosphere having an oxygen content of not more than 8% by volume except when it is necessary for the tank to be gas free. The inert gas system is provided in the oil tankers of 20,000 dead weight and above and those which are fitted with crude oil washing. Number 12. Fire detectors and alarms. Fire detection and alarm systems are installed in the cargo area, accommodation, deck areas and machinery spaces along with an alarm system to notify any outbreak of fire or smoke at the earliest. The fire detection system may be connected to a decision management system provided that the decision management system is proven to be <coughs> compatible with the fire detection system and any malfunction of the interfaced and connected equipment should not propagate under any circumstance to the fire detection system. The first initiated fire alarm will not prevent any other detector from initiating further fire alarms. Number 13. Remote Shut and Stop System The remote system, I beg your pardon, the remote station shutdown is provided to all fuel lines from fuel oil and diesel oil tanks in the machinery space and which is done by quick closing valves. A remote stop system is also provided to stop the machinery like fuel pumps, purifiers, ventilation fans, boiler, etc. In the event of a fire in the engine room or before discharging a fire correction, a fixed fire fighting system in the engine room. Number 14. EEBD Emergency Escape Breathing Device An EEBD is a supplied air or oxygen device only used for escape I repeat, used for escape from a compartment that has a hazardous atmosphere and shall be of an approved type. AEBD shall not be used for fighting fires, entering oxygen deficient whites or tanks are worn by firefighters. AEBD shall have service duration at least 10 minutes. That means it will have air for 10 minutes. An inactivated AEBD shall be capable of being carried hands free. So it is an escape device only. Emergency escape breathing device. Number 15. Firefighters outfit. A firefighters outfit shall consist of a set of personal equipment 
and a breathing apparatus. Personal equipment shall consist of the following. Protective clothing, boots of rubber or other electrically non-conducting matter, rigid helmet, electric safety lamp, axe with a handle provided with high voltage insulation. For each breathing apparatus, a fireproof lifeline of at least 30 meter in length shall be provided. So you can see this picture. These are all the personal equipment which comes in firefighters outfit. Number 16, International Shore Connection, ISC. ISC is used to connect shore water to the ship system to fight fire when the ship fire pump system is not operational and is on the port, layoff or dry dock. International shore connections shall be of steel or other equivalent material and shall be designed for 1 n oblique millimeter 2 services. The flange shall have a flat face on one side and on the other side it shall be permanently attached to a coupling that will fit the ship's hydrant and hose. The connection shall be kept aboard the ship together with a gasket of any material suitable for 1 N per millimeter to services together with 4 bolts of 16 mm diameter and 50 mm in length, 4 16 mm nuts and 8 washes. So these are all SOLAS FSS code requirements. On board all the ship you will find the same similar ISC on the starboard side and port side. Number 17, means of escape. It shall be recognized that the evacuation routes to the embarkation deck may include an assembly station. In this case, consideration shall be given to the fire protection requirements and sizing of corridors and doors from the stairway enclosure to the assembly station and from the assembly station to the embarkation deck, noting that evacuation of persons from assembly stations to embarkation positions will be carried out in small controlled groups. So escape routes, you have the marking in the lower side of the bulkhead on board all the ships as per the SOLAS FSS code requirement. The firefighting arrangements on board oil tankers. In missionary space, CO2 fixed firefighting system, hyper mist for fire control, fire ma main system, portable and semi portable extinguishers of class A, B, C, D, F. So, this is common for any type of ship. In the missionary space, you will find all this, not only tankers. In accommodation area, Fixed sprinkler system, portable extinguisher except CO2, fire main system. In cargo area, in the tankers, we will have fixed foam system and fire main system, that is water and foam. Okay. Fire main. This is a pipeline that runs up the tank deck and feeds both hydrants and foam monitors. Alongside it is the foam main which supplies foam when required to the foam monitors. The fire water line 
the fire water line is supplied from electric motor driven pumps and also from one or more diesel driven pumps the foam main as mentioned above the foam main runs alongside the fire main with one or two foam pumps available to pump the foam from a storage tank through a liquid propulsioner into the foam main readily mixed with sea water from the hydrants portable foam branch pipes can be connected as well as feeding to the foam monitors engine room the engine room under solas shall be fitted with both a total and local fire suppression system this can be of several types the main ones being co2 drench that is total high expansion foam total water mist total and local and water mist local the total system is to drench the whole of the engine room space whereas the local systems are placed over equipment most liable to catch fire such as purifier room generators main engine tops and boiler fronts the fire main extends down into the engine room and is assessed via hoses connecting to hydrants on every level portable extinguishers are also provided at strategic places so if you see this is not only in tankers any type of vessel you will find this arrangement generally these days <coughs> all the newer ships will have co2 drench that is total then water mist total and local and water mist local this i expansion form you may not find okay in the older ships you may have them otherwise co2 water mist you will very general in any type of ship and first choice for engineers must be your water mist okay they have got lot of advantages over co2 so engineers must note you always operate water mist first locally or totally before you consider co2 pump room usually a fixed gas system or high expansion foam the fire main and hydrants also serve the area paint lockers usually protected by sea water flooding via sprays galley the range is covered by hood which extracts the vapors from the range this is protected from fire by an extinguishing medium injected via nozzles in the hood it can be water based or powder based and is designed to extinguish a fire in the galley hood as well as the trunking to the outside imo emergency response procedures for ships carrying dangerous goods ems guide in the event of a fire in spillage incident initial action should be carried out in accordance with the shipboard emergency plan where dangerous goods are involved the responses in the emergency plan should be based on this guide for specific dangerous goods having regard to inter alia the type of ship the quantity and type of packaging of the dangerous goods and whether the goods are stored on or under deck on the deck or under deck the fire fighting arrangements on board gas tankers dry powder dry powder is provided both in large fixed installation 
and portable extinguishers. Any part of the deck can be reached by at least two hoses from the fixed installations. So, <coughs> in the oil tanker, you will find in the cargo area, the main fixed system is foam. Whereas, in the gas tanker, in the cargo area, the main system is DCP. Water. Water is not a suitable medium for fighting an LNG fire directly as it will cause a massive expansion of the fire through an increase in the rate of vaporization of the liquid to gaseous state. Water is however essential as a cooling medium for the area surrounding an LNG fire and to protect personnel who may need to approach the site. Water is also essential for protecting steelwork from the effects of extreme cold in the event of a liquid spill. So in the gas tanker we find all along the ship in various areas <coughs> you will find these water system, water sprinklers are used. Okay, but this water is directly not uh, on the gas fire. It is for cooling down. It is for uh, washing out any spillage. Even during cargo operations, you will find on the ship side near the manifold, there is a waterfall, you know, which is called water wall and continuously it is on. In case of any spill, straight away that spill, the gas should not touch the ship side, it should go to the water, sea water. Similarly, during fire, we can operate in various areas to protect the accommodation. You have a line running there, various uh, machinery spaces also you will have on the open deck, the water sprinkler system in a gas tanker. Okay. Additionally, to fight a gas fire, the firefighters protection also required, they also use this water. So, DCP and water is widely used on gas tankers. CO2. A CO2 extinguisher system is available for cargo compressor rooms, electric motor rooms, inert gas dryer room, and on some ships cargo control room also. Ships plan should be consulted for what is applicable to the concerned vessel. The procedure for fighting these fires, here basically we are talking about LNG fire. Okay, isolate the source of leak that is applicable to LPG LNG both. Stop loading discharging, applicable for both. Shut all manifold valves. Sound the alarm. Provide protection for adjacent compartment and for firefighters. Attack fire with the maximum rate of application of dry powder. Do not agitate the surface of any pool of LNG. Remain on guard against possible reignition. This is a general for LNG LPG for both. How to tackle LPG fires? The highest priority of action must be given to stopping the gas flow to limit the amount of flammable material available and contain the fire in as small an area as possible. This may happen automatically with the operation of the emergency shutdown system, ESD. Firefighters must wear protective clothing and self-contained compressed air breathing apparatus. Tackling the fire requires the use of two media, water and dry powder. This is also common for LNG and LPG, all these steps. Large quantities of water sprays are to be used to protect firefighters and those assisting the rescue of trapped personnel from spaces, to cool surfaces exposed to heat to prevent heat radiation through steel bulkheads. Okay, so this is also common for any gas tanker, LNG, LPG. CO2 is used to fight 
the fire in the cargo control room, compressor room, motor room and L on LPG ships, also LNG ships. That is all about firefighting. Uh, this is a book which I published for nautical officers and nautical students. Uh, the title of the book is B.Sc. Nautical Science Students Handbook uh, GMDSS and it's an e-book available in Amazon Kindle store for rupees 100. It's a ready reckoner. All the deck officers must be talking about uh, GMDSS uh, modernization. Although I have not uh, included all the points in this book, I am going to revise it again with a second edition. However, you will find about Iridium satellites in the book. This was written in 2019. Okay, four years before. It's a ready reckoner. You can buy them and make use of them. And uh, in Mariners Digest, my YouTube, for the people, those who are appearing for GMDS examination, there are 19 videos with my voiceover explaining every GMDSS equipment for practical examination step by step operating procedure you will find there are 19 videos like MFHF, Inmosat C, VHF all that, Navtex So thank you. Please click uh, like, bell buttons and subscribe. Give your comments in the YouTube. Bye until next video.